CEO Jensen Hewing unveiled a new GPU, graphics processing unit, architecture, a CPU, super chip, and other technologies at NVIDIA's GTC 2022 Graphics Technology Conference on March 22. He argued that NVIDIA's new tech would power the next wave of AI and the virtual worlds of the future. Let's see what the firm has planned. In a keynote address delivered from his kitchen, Ewing claimed that incredible advances in AI had enabled computers to write software that no human could. As a result, he predicted that AI would revolutionize all industries. With the slew of new products, Ewing unveiled for autonomous vehicles, digital twins, and data centers, NVIDIA has arguably positioned itself at the forefront of such a revolution. NVIDIA's GPUs, which revolutionized video quality in the gaming market, have become the industry's most popular chips for AI workloads. The company claims that its newest GPU, the H100, is even better at training AI models than previous chips. Later, we'll dissect the H100 and the chip architecture that makes it so powerful. According to Hewing, cloud computing and artificial intelligence are causing fundamental changes in data center architecture. He unveiled the Doka 1.0 data center on a chip architecture. NVIDIA's first data center infrastructure SDK, software development kit. NVIDIA also unveiled Jarvis, a deep learning AI pre-trained for speech recognition, translation, and language recognition. According to Hewing, NVIDIA had programmed Jarvis for millions of GPU hours on more than a billion pages of text and over 60,000 hours of speech in various languages and accents. He claimed it was 90% accurate and could be fine-tuned with a customer's data. Jarvis is currently available in English, Japanese, German, Spanish, French, and Russian, and can be customized for domain jargon. Hewing assured that Jarvis has moved beyond mechanical speech and now speaks with emotion and expression that the user can control. Furthermore, NVIDIA unveiled Hopper, its new architecture for data center AI workloads, and the successor to Ampere. It is named after Grace Hopper, an American computer pioneer and U.S. Navy Rear Admiral. Here's a fun fact about Hopper. She coined the term computer bug. The first Hopper-based product will be the H100, which outperforms the Ampere-based A103 to six times. In addition to the GPU chip, NVIDIA introduced the Gray CPU Superchip, a new processor chip, CPU, based on ARM technology. The Superchip represents the company's first discrete data center CPU for high-performance computing. It comprises two CPU chips linked together via a 900 gigabit per second GBPS NV link chip to chip interconnect to form a 144 core CPU with a memory bandwidth of 1 terabyte per second. The Gray Super chip will be available in the first half of 2023. Hewing believes that AI and 5G are the elements required to launch the fourth industrial revolution, where robots and automation can be deployed to the world's farthest ends. However, he stated that there was one missing component in the bid to deploy, which he referred to as the metaverse or a virtual world. That's the digital twin of ours. He introduced Omniverse, NVIDIA's simulation tool, which we'll discuss later. With Omniverse, NVIDIA plans to cash in on this opportunity. Another significant opportunity for NVIDIA's AI platforms is the growth of robotic devices and autonomous vehicles. NVIDIA has designed Hyperion, a hardware architecture for self-driving cars, on which NVIDIA Drive is built to capitalize on this opportunity. NVIDIA Drive is the company's open development platform for autonomous vehicles, AV, consisting of AV chips, computers, sensor architecture, data processing, and mapping. Ewing added that NVIDIA had built an AV service in collaboration with Mercedes-Benz. Let us know your favorite Mercedes model in the comment section below. NVIDIA announced at the GTC that Hyperion 9 will be available in 2026. It will use the upcoming Drive Atlanta SoC, which will provide twice the performance of the current drive or in based architecture. Meanwhile, BYD, the world's second largest EV manufacturer, will use the drive or in computer in cars produced in the first half of 2023.
Lucid Motors also revealed that its Dream Drive Pro Advanced Driver Assistant system is based on NVIDIA Drive. The omnivorous platform provides 3D designers with a shared virtual world to collaborate across multiple software applications and geographical locations. This year, NVIDIA will focus on making Omniverse more accessible to individuals and businesses. The new Omniverse cloud offers creators instant access to Omniverse even if they do not have an NVIDIA RTX-powered system. Additionally, Omniverse OVX is a computing system designed to handle massive simulations. According to Hewing, Omniverse could be used to build virtual worlds and simulate conditions, or, as he put it, it's where robots learn to be robots. He believes that Omniverse digital twins can connect to a company's ERP system, allowing for more realistic simulations such as factory throughput or a new plant layout. Hewing mentioned that car manufacturers Bentley and BMW already use Omniverse to simulate production lines and factories. Kindly hit the subscribe button if you found this video entertaining. Hewing also disclosed NVIDIA's plans to develop the EO's supercomputer, which he dubbed the first Hopper AI factory. NVIDIA expects it to be the world's fastest AI system when it gets up and running later this year. EOS has 576 DGX H100 systems with 4,608 DGX H100 GPUs. It is expected to provide 18.4 exaflops of AI computing performance, four times faster than the world's most rapid system, the Fugaku supercomputer in Japan. NVIDIA sees the virtual realm as a huge opportunity as more and more businesses aim to create digital twins and simulations of everything from cars to cities to entire planets. Discover more about NVIDIA by watching our video on the top 7 amazing facts about the company. Thanks for watching.